Sundays will never be the same again. That seemed to be the sentiment of most of Eddie Zondi's fans and friends at his packed memorial service. Eddie for us was one of the nation builders. Because that's what he preached all the time. He really knew his audience and he was speaking to the nation. So we mourn that. We mourn the fact that the nation has lost. Has lost a legend. Has lost somebody who always, you know, knew its heartbeat. But at the same time, we were celebrating and we continue to celebrate. Celebrate his life. Celebrate what he was transmitting to the nation. After starting in nighttime radio, his Sunday gig mixed young artists with older favorites and struck a chord with listeners. For me, I never knew Eddie was this big. I just saw him as someone that I was with every single Sunday. And I'm pretty sure wherever he's at, he's going to get to realize that he touched a lot of people's lives. And it's odd how we don't understand that, that every single Sunday the music that we play touches somebody's lives or touches many lives. And we take that usually for granted. He knew every time I was listening. And he would play a song. And when he knows that this is a song that I like, he will mention that. But also, he made sure that he played me a song, special song, every time it was my birthday. He remembered my children, he remembered my wife's birthday, and he was able to say that on air every time. And that will make me not forget about it. He made colleagues feel like friends. Friends feel like family. And if, like his daughter Keleto, you are privileged enough to call him dad, then he could open your eyes and ears to new worlds every day. I will remember my father as an inspiration, a motivator, and someone who, who was a legend to everyone else. Because of the music he played, I think I grew a passion for music as well. I, I started um, listening to everyone on radio, and then I fell in love with that, and that's why I want to follow in his footsteps. I actually just want to salute the Metro VM team. I want to salute the SABC for the integrity with which they have handled um, this entire you know, ceremony from the moment we found out about Eddie's departure, the on-air programming changed, the, the management came together, and they've really just given him a farewell that is befitting of, of him and his stature. And I've just seen love here today. Through his music, you could pick up that he sings a lot. I mean, he, he really plays a lot of love music. He was a loving person and a very unifying force within his stable. And uh, he touched many lives because many people were listening to his programs. And um, it is a sad loss for all of us. If somebody were to call you in the middle of your show and tell you, Zondi, you're boring, what would you say to him? I mean, what would be your reaction towards him? Uh, we must know that uh, we, we, we sort of not doing radio because of our own interest. We're doing radio for the people out there. If a person says I'm boring, maybe for sure I'd like to know the, the, I mean, the problem that, uh, uh, or maybe what is boring about me. And then from there I'll try and improve on that. And I cannot just put him off because we're working there for the listeners. We're not working for ourselves. Well lived, Eddie. Lala Mutolo Nondava.